Good morning guys, welcome to a week in my life. We're starting this on a Tuesday because I actually filmed Monday, so I'll pop the video on the screen if you want the full week, you'll watch the Monday, and then this one is gonna be Tuesday to Friday. I haven't done a week in my life in quite a minute. I don't think I've done a week in my life in Florida at all, actually, so welcome. But I'm actually heading over to a yoga studio I found. One of my New Year's resolutions was to join a studio and I found one that I feel like looks really good. So we're gonna go explore. This is my first time going. It's always a little like nerve wracking when you're going to like a new gym or trying something new, especially when it's like a smaller kind of like intimate kind of thing. Cause you're not only going to like the gym, but you're going to a class. So these people know each other and you're just like, hi, I'm the new person. It's just gonna be, you know, whatever. I'm not actually nervous, which is nice. I feel like people in yoga too are so like genuine and sweet. The only thing I'm a little nervous about is that I'm still kind of like, I'm not like advanced, but it, the class that I'm taking is like, it's something, something one, which I think is like intermediate, which like, I'm not a beginner, but I'm also, I don't know, I guess I'm intermediate. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, it, what happens, but hopefully all is well. Um, yeah, cheers to the vlog. That was really nice. The instructor was amazing. It was very zen. And you know, I was thinking like, I've been going to yoga the past, what, three, four years. Um, and I just never got back into it. And it was so frustrating because I loved yoga in college. Like I actually really loved it. And I think it's because I went to like a yoga studio that was only yoga. Like the people, the instructors were only yoga. And the past few years I've been going to like yoga um, in a workout setting so it'd be like a gym and then they have yoga classes so the pr the teachers weren't like yogis if you will this was purely yoga and it's like a yoga meditation center and it was just amazing and I feel like I'm gonna get back into it because of that so I joined the studio I'm gonna join it when I get back home but I made the conscious effort to do that and I'm really excited it's really weird I'm going kind of like back to like how I was years ago because I used to just run and do yoga and I've been really back into running and yoga I also have been like listening to my body and just doing things that I feel like doing that day and it's been really helpful instead of like planning it ahead of time and being like this is gonna be like day, this is gonna be on day because it's like you don't know how your body's gonna feel and sometimes if I'm like overwhelmed and stressed I feel like a run would be a better option than let's say a leg day if I'm like hustling and feel good I'll do a leg day if I feel like calm and zen i'll go to yoga like i just i'm doing something every day and it just feels really good to get back on like actually enjoying workouts and stuff and not doing it for like a to-do list checklist kind of thing or like an aesthetic thing it's definitely more of like a body thing and it's just been really nice so i'm very happy this morning i'm gonna go back home we shall work a little bit i have some errands to run just like a little kind of chill boring but necessary day. Wednesday, but we're on day two of the week in my life, so I thought it was a Tuesday. Anyway, I woke up this morning super early and I went to the gym at like seven. It's now like 9.30. I love early morning workouts. It just sets me up for such a great day. I did legs today, a little bit of abs, and yeah, I feel really good. I actually have quite a busy day today. I have some errands to run. 
I need to go back to the yoga studio because apparently there's like this special going on if you're like a new student. So I have to go back there to do it. They don't, they don't have an option online. Um, and then I need to go get my packages. I need to go grocery shopping because I think I'm gonna try to attempt to cook tonight. I found this like burger recipe and it looks really good. It looks somewhat easy. I'm low-key afraid that my alarm's gonna go off and I'm gonna get frazzled, but it's okay. Cause I feel like when you cook like burgers, it's like lots of steam. How do I not set my alarm off? I have like a fan, like a vent on my microwave. Maybe I'll just like pop open my door too. I don't know why the fire alarm freaks me out. It's like so loud, it gives me anxiety. I already have like super high anxiety when I'm cooking. So yeah, I need to overcome it. That's what we're doing. There's multiple reasons why I don't like cooking. Number one is that it's messy. I have like OCD tendencies and I think people get mad at me when I say that, but I've literally been like told by doctors. So like it stresses me out when everything is like all over the place and there's like so much going on at once. Like the timing and everything stresses me out. I also get anxious with fires and like burning and like the fire alarm, it freaks me out. And then also I'm very impatient. So like when I'm cooking, I'm typically very hungry, but if I plan ahead and think, okay, I'm cooking for fun. Like I'm not like starving and I need to cook myself a dinner. It's like, I'm just cooking for fun. We're gonna eat some good food after changing that mindset. I did the granola and the granola turned out actually really okay. So I don't know, we'll try, but I have to get the ingredients and stuff at Publix. And then what else is there? Oh yeah, my aunt and her boyfriend are coming over today around like noon. So we're gonna have some lunch. We're gonna take a walk around somewhere local and eat and yeah, just like good solid day today. I also have like plans going forward throughout the rest of the week with people. And I think like being single and stuff it is very lonely at times because you're used to like being with one person and always having a person but like now you kind of have to not rely on other people but like expand your social circle because when you have dedicated your life to like one person for so long it's crazy like how much you realize you rely on that one person so i've been reaching out to like all my friends and stuff and everyone's been super sweet and i have like plans and things to look forward to i think that's so important you always have to have something to look forward to especially for me because I think people say like you have to learn to be alone and like I am alone all the time. I am great being alone, like I work, I do my thing, but because I'm alone when I work and do my thing, once it's time to like put all that aside, then it's like I'm alone all day and that's not healthy. It's not like I'm going to work with coworkers and going to the gym with people and then coming home and not being able to be alone. It's I am alone all day and then once I put everything away, it's still alone. So I need to like have things to do. I went to my mom's last night, I actually didn't even continue vlogging i just realized um and we had like the best time it was like a sleepover with a best friend it was just so nice to be around her and we drank some wine and like had like girl chats and it was just we i had so much fun i literally was like laughing until i cried so it was just it was a really really nice time and i'm just in a really good mood right now so yeah have myself a nice little tuesday wednesday wednesday So we're gonna make these burgers. These are the ingredients that we need, Zach. Wait, how long is this gonna take? 20 minutes, that's not bad. Yeah, this is gonna be like one of my first recipes that I'm cooking. Oh shit, let's hope it doesn't burn or anything. <laughs> it was safe and like, I don't know, easy. Can we just get the burger already? Yeah. Oh no, we need, we know. Pounds of struggling. Let's do this. In the large bowl, we to gather the egg, and it's the egg yolk. I don't have time for tea. Here. I really don't. It's only one thing where you force me in there. Okay. Zachary, I'm already messing up. Oh. Right. One. Two. Whisper. Slowly add half a cup of oil drop by drop. Just don't do drop by drop, literally, but just do like slight pour by slight pour. That's a lot of oil. While whisking. Oh, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. Zachary, I'm doing it. Good. Once the quarter of the oil. Oh, fuck. Oh. It says once the quarter of the oil. Zachary. It says once quarter of the oil is absorbed into the mixture, stir the rest of the oil in larger amount. Oh, okay. okay. Then whisk in garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Do you want me to Finely chop them off chopped. For you? 
I can do that. No, I can't. Oh, I can easily play with chopping. I'm trying to learn how to cook. I just need your support. It's just chopping. I know, but that's the one thing I can do. That's the one thing I can do. And do the things that you can't do. Be comfortable with your comfortable, yeah? That's the one thing I'm excited to like show off is my chopping skills. It looks cool. Looks oh, like I can cook. I literally cook. already want like a piece of bread. Okay, good. Mmm. It's good. Not bad. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Stop. I haven't been eating. Mm. It tastes like what Chick fil A for every day. Like, yeah. Like 30 minutes. Really? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Ooh. Can okay, get another one? No. Mm -hmm. Just cut that piece off. Or just do the two. See, I'm getting impatient already. You know that you just hit it like this and it comes right off? It does? Yeah. You go like this and hit it, and then it just comes right off. Oh, wow. Zachary. What? Finally cut. You cut it like this. My nails are so long now. And then you go like this. It's quicker. So do it like that, like cut it in lines, and then. Mm. Smell dad. Sounds like dad. Mm. Smell dad. It's the ultimate steak sauce. It is? I thought it was like a cream sauce. A1 or more chestnut. It's know. like the same thing. Just like it's a called little... Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Whatever. It's not the fuck? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Just like it's a called Worcestershire. Worcestershire, whatever the fuck. Worcestershire. Patty done. Why are we watching such a sad thing? I hate watching sad stuff. No, but it's good in the end though because she becomes powerful because of like her upbringing. <gasps> Zachary, I'm filming. How do I do this? Here. Single, double, triple. Good morning, girl. Oh my god, I'm gonna heat up. Triple? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I don't know what's I mean? going on. Because I'm afraid that the alarm is gonna go off. So I'm putting the vent on the highest. Like, why does mine look way better? Yeah, th that's what the burger looks like. Yeah, that looks good. I did that. Yeah, okay. she did that. What's it to do? Help me. Okay, ready? I'm scared it's gonna be like bloody. Mm -hmm. Go. Hmm. What? It's really good. Mine's not bad. I mean, it's not like the way I like it, but that's a good burger. It is. Yeah, it's a great burger. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, but... oh, are you gonna get sick? Mmm. Steak can be rare. It's a steak. Zachary? It's steak. I don't know. I don't recommend to eat that. It's steak. Look Let up me, steak. Steak can so be rare. So if I just take that whole thing raw, I wouldn't get sick? No. So every wait, let's Google it. It's like literally... It's not even bad. I mean... Can you eat raw? Steak can be rare. Can you and eat And this is a steak burger. Raw. What is steak this called? Burger. It's not advised. Just the contamination this, of the bacteria. Just take this whole piece off. That's it. If you get sick, I will get so mad at myself. No. Zachary, I'm impressed. Success. Good morning, guys. Happy... Oh my god, I'm the worst. I think it's a Thursday. We're on Thursday. I woke up this morning so early and I just took a walk. I was going to run, but honestly, my body is just like kind of tired. So I was listening to my body and I just went for a nice walk. I saw a dolphin. Dolphins are so magical and they're so special. And I feel like they're like a sign from the universe or something. I don't know. Also, what else was I going to say? Oh, I gave myself a black eye. I don't know if you could tell because I put makeup on, but look right here. See this? I... 
I'm such an idiot. Like in the middle of the night, I had like scratched my eye or something and I forget that I have like long nails now and I just jabbed my eye and I woke up this morning. Like, you know when you have like a massive cry and you wake up and your eyes like so puffed out? I was like, what the heck? I wasn't even crying last night. Like what's happening? And then I thought, oh, I'm just like tired or something. And then it just never went away. And then I saw like a red spot here and I was like, did I scratch it? I don't even know. And then it just like never went away and it feels so puffy still. And I realized I gave myself a black eye. But I kind of look like a badass. Like I just got into like a low key fight. <laughs> That's why I tell myself. But anyway, it's just like really heavy. I'm like, my eye I feel like is like drooping. But I got some new clothes. I feel like I want to show you guys. Like I got a whole new wardrobe for 2022. So I got some stuff from this boutique that I found online called Petal and Pup. And then I got some stuff from Princess Polly because you can't really beat Princess Polly. I already put this one on. I'll pop like a picture here of what this one looks like. I'm gonna do like a quick try on haul and I'll just link everything down below. Okay, so here's the first one. We're gonna do Princess Polly first. This one's super cute and elegant in the front, but then when you turn around, it has like this open back and like a bow here. I think it's super cute, classy, and I really like it. It's very comfortable. So this one's super, super duper cute. Another collared shirt, but again, it's open in the back, has like the bow. I think it's so cute. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Okay, so this is just a basic brown top. I just needed something like everyday wear and then I'm probably actually gonna leave this one on right now It's just this really cute green. It's like a cropped long sleeve and it's just very again everyday something to just throw on in the house I got a few everyday dresses as well. This one's just like this white Everyday like kind of t-shirt dress. I got it in black and then I also got another one that kind of like opens up here at the stomach line area which I'll pop a picture in because I don't feel like putting it on again. So here's another dress um, I have another open back because you know, I felt like the most flattering I've realized for me is an open back because it gives me like a little bit of curves. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it ties here at the top and it's super elegant here at the front. Really like this one. So this one is kind of concerning because I feel like this was printed wrong. So I'm gonna actually return this one or maybe exchange it for a different one, but it's supposed to be like, this is the front and then the back is open. Again, another open back, but the collar is messed up. So I'm gonna actually exchange this one, but I really like it. Like I feel like it fits really well. The collar is just better. My hair is getting messier and messier as I put on the clothes, but this one's a little bit different. It kind of reminds me of like a little prairie dress, but I feel like it's more maybe, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I like it. I feel like I like it. I don't want to get rid of it, but the puffed sleeves are a little like prairie-ish. What do you think? And no open back this time, but I feel like it's very comfortable. So now to pedal and pup. I'm obsessed with this top. It's like a open sleeve, open shoulder, open shoulder top. It's super form fitting. The pants are nice. They fit really well, except for like right here. <laughs> So this top is another one that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I wanted something a little bit like more business casual. Um, I don't know. It's definitely different. And then this is the final top, which I love. It gives me like 70s vibes. It's like a cropped white, super, super good quality shirt. So I'll link everything down below. Smile face. <laughs> Come here, Ada. Come here. Come to the camera. Come on. There she is. That's sweet. Oh, you eat, honey? No. Oh, can I have some? Oh, my stuff. It's also dirty. It's a mess. Mom, this is your mess? Yes, it is my mess. Bad when are we gonna do, do this for January? Thanks for making me breakfast. I've been told that I've been a people pleaser lately, and now I can tell why because I've been recording you, and all you've been saying is like, "Do you like me to make you some eggs, sweetheart?" Oh, my stove is so dirty. I'm sorry, my stove is so dirty. And then you're like, "I should have had fruit." I don't have fruit. Hmm. I just got the OK Beetle. If you remember during Vlogmas, I actually put this bad boy together and I haven't showed you guys it since, but it's like this really cute scooter basically 
and it's called the OK Beetle. They're actually today's sponsor, so I'll pop all their information in the description box for you guys. It's such a fun toy, and my mom's house, like I mentioned many times, is like an active community, so they have tons of trails here. It's like acres and acres and acres of just land, and everyone here has like golf carts and mopeds and all that stuff, so this is gonna come in handy. It's amazing. It's like a little golf cart. Like, it goes about the same speed, and it's so cute. Can we just like talk about how cute it is? I don't think there's scooters out there that are aesthetic like this one. <laughs> to turn it on, you just take the key that way. When it's in park like this, the button's right here, and then it takes you to this setting, and then that's when you can like start going like that. It has like lights for like if it's dark outside or not, um, and then you just literally do this. Oh, I gotta put the thing up. Okay. And you just do this. My mom's gonna get so mad at me for doing this on patio. I'm gonna bring this outside. Now you're having fun, aren't you glad that you got on it? She had had a bike accident, so she's like PTSD. You're doing really good. Good job. I've been debating, because I still haven't, thank That's you. That's like a fear. Oh, there's an alligator. You guys want to see an alligator? This is Florida for you. Let's see, where is he? There he is, see him? See him? Cutie. This is so much fun. Look how beautiful my mom's place is. We might see another alligator over here. There's always one over here. Do we see her? I don't. Usually she sits over there in the grass. Cool. Uh, I'm obsessed. So another cool thing with this is that the charger is in here and you can technically plug in like the actual scooter right here. So if you want that, but if like, for example, you don't want to lug all of this into like your house or something, you can actually take the battery out. So this unplugs and then you can pull this out and just charge the actual charger. Like you can bring it in. So cool, cool, cool. And just like that. Pretty freaking cool. Alrighty guys, it's Friday night. I'm actually gonna head out with my friend Robin. If you guys remember her, when I used to live in Florida before I moved, we would, she was like my challenge buddy. We would watch the challenge all the time. She just got married and I haven't seen her in so long, so it'll be so much fun to catch up. Um, so we're gonna, I think, go grab a drink and maybe a bite to eat or something like that. And then, yeah, that concludes our vlog today. We did a, I was gonna say a full week. I feel like I did a full week because we had the Monday and I vlogged the whole week. So there was a full week. It just wasn't all in this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very productive, like first week to the year. I feel really good. I did a really good job at like balancing and not putting too much pressure on myself. I did a really good job with working out, I feel like. And like all around a good balance in like social life and I feel really, really good. I, I think this is a really good start to the year. How did your first week go? Was it super productive? Was it not? How did it go? Comment down below, I wanna know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you very soon. Bye.